up, guys? Joe from MPV here. We got Justin, who's going to come in the frame right now. And Talk. Tony, who's right behind. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the uh, field update slash walkthrough. <laughs> that was awkward. Anyway. Uh, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of our key bunkers that we've made, and it's going to be pretty much an update of what the field looks like now. And I'm filming with the tripod, as you can uh, see, so it's going to be a very, uh, I mean, the first walkthrough we did was really shaky, so it's going to be more enjoyable. Now, if you've noticed in our videos before, you've noticed that the, 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 um, our field is mostly uh, pine needles here. But, but anyway, getting on, you can see behind us over here, look, if you see all that brush, that hasn't been used before, and that... Um, I might actually try, maybe this week when we play, if we do end up playing, maybe I'll hide in there with the tracer or something. Who knows? We'll see. Alright, let's move on. Okay, now this area is a good area, because we got a tree right here, and then we got this bunker, that I'm sure uh, you've seen before in our other field walkthrough. Um, we didn't do a whole lot to update this? this one right here. I don't even think we had this when we did a lot last one. I think this is... Fairly new. I, I thought I, we did. I oh, think we made, we, oh, we probably oh, made this like early spring. If this spring. wasn't in the new uh, walkthrough, this is uh, it's a good bunker now. It, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't look like the most stable thing, but once you get in here, it's nice and cleared. Like you can, you can shoot right through here and you have a good uh, look at the flag where that yellow cone is. Over yeah, there. it's very popular uh, if you've ever seen our recent footage. I mean, if, if you look at it, if you look at it from the inside or even the outside, it looks like this thing is going to fall over, but it's, it's wedged in there really good. That's not going anywhere. Very, very popular. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going along the red side. Right, ever since this is not this was not in the other field uh, walk through. Justin, you can get your water bottle out there. Oh yeah. Uh, but uh, this is a uh, really key bunker, especially when you're playing flag. When you're playing any any mode for that matter, because you're right up the middle. You got a good look at the flag. And you can stand up in this bunker real easy. So if you wanted to make a move, you don't have to stand up and get up. You're already standing up where you are. Right yeah, now. keep in uh, mind you that, be careful of that hole right you can now. have a really good firefight with this bunker right here, along with uh, these bunkers as well. We do make little uh, imperfections in bunkers like that, just to give people an equal chance. There's a hole right here. I'm sure people have been shot through. As you can see, the, um, the paint on the side of the tree and right here, people have um, been shooting through here. And um, missing a couple, obviously, but nonetheless. Uh, what else? I feel like I'm missing. Some. Oh, right here. This, this, this is probably one of our best bonkers. Nah. <laughs> All right, this one was one we we kind of did some thinking. We had these two boards, and we're like, "What the hell? That looks pretty cool." And it ended up working really well. It's just basically we staggered two. We got one piece of plywood here, kind of nailed in. And we got the other one above it. There's just a little bit of a uh, space under here where you could possibly get shot in the leg, but. Uh, very unlikely. This we've never really. This tree is this not, a, no bunker on there. Really, it's a really good tree. It's a real good example of a nice big tree. There's not a whole lot of big trees in this whole area like this size. This is a good tree. We didn't need to put anything on this tree. This tree can be used nice. It's very large. It You're not exposed. If you uh, and actually Tony was here and I was in the uh, the bunker that right there. You can see that and uh, we had some really uh, good firefights there good exchanges. It happened probably two or three times that day. And uh, right here. So, it's a good lane right there. Alright guys, let's move to the field. Where the flag is. Now, let me just give a good idea. The flag is usually right here. You can see right here. Alright, the flag is usually right here. Now, this bunker right here that we're looking at right here is a, is a key bunker. If you have someone going around to get the flag, because you have really good position on the flag. If someone tries to get the flag, if someone from the far side is trying to get the flag and someone from the near side is in this bunker, you're going to have a very hard time getting the flag. And this is just a piece of plywood with sticks built up. And on this side, which we reinforced about 20 minutes ago, was we reinforced the pallet with a piece of uh, plywood just up against it. Just to give you a little more protection. Let's move along. Alright, this is a piece of uh, like a uh, cardboard. Corkboard. Like, Board. That you like use on like a tool board. bench. It's like that stuff, like like in uh, in like workshops. Where yeah, you, where you hang stuff by hooks. Yeah. But this this is uh we had to nail this there because to the tree because it's kind of falling off. But you know it's nonetheless it's a good bunker. It gives you good protection on this side, and uh, it has also has a good look at the flag. Uh, some some of these are some repeats from the other field walkthrough, but we have pretty much rearranged them all. Can we show this one. Uh, this is actually new. Yep. So we just got two pieces of plywood. 
What happened was myself and uh, well, Justin and Kevin, I being Justin, we came down here one day bored, so we decided to make this little you know triangular frame almost, and then we started working on it. It's not really you know quite done, but as it is right now, it's a pretty decent bunker. And uh, this is this is um, it's you a know, bar. <laughs> it's a full bar. It's a random stick nail to a tree. This long snake-like bunker has been down here for a long time. It, it serves as uh, good protection. Mm -hmm. I think it would be a cool idea to add here just in the video. In the future we may add something right here maybe even. Possibly. It's a possibility. That might, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Because this, this bunker is good if you're shooting this way straight into the right. But if you get someone coming up this way... You're in a bad spot. Yeah, a lot of the trouble I face is whenever I'm in this bunker, which is sometimes often, when you're here, it's not hard for the other team to just loop around and get you right here. So when Joe says build something between that tree and right here, that's actually a really good idea. This is the, uh, if you guys watched the homemade walk, uh, homemade field walkthrough from a couple months ago, you would see that, I'm not going to show you right now, but um, you would see that it was covered in just sticks and debris from a lightning storm that happened. See this tree right here? How it was only like half of it? These, this tree fell and it knocked off so much. So, um, here it is now. The unveiling of our new home bunker. It is a very, very nice bunker. It's, it's our largest by far on the, uh, field. The most surface area. And, and uh, you can fit the most people. We've had a team of, we actually had a whole, um, it was a six on sixes one day. We had five people in the home bunker and one playing out of the field so you can i mean you could if you look inside here it's just me and justin here i mean we don't you know take up too much room you could fit a ton of people in here but you'd fit definitely you really want to now because it's not a good idea really quick we also got a little uh tunnel going here what this tunnel is is if you can see this bunker hasn't been used yet but it's a little experimental thing where you would crawl it into this tunnel underneath and um that's pretty much self-explanatory, I would think. All right, and uh, that's just an idea of how big it is compared to, you know, you could easily fit, you know, six, seven people in here if you really wanted. Hey, that's my bunk. Take a little break there. Okay, now we're going on. This is the near side. Oops. This is the right Sorry side of the near side. As you can see, there's yeah, a slight lack of bunker right here in this area. And we've got another really, really long tree that, that came down a long time ago, if you can see right there. And just bam, sprawled out right in the middle of the field, and made a nice bunker. Um, this this piece could, as you can see, it could use a little uh, revamping. It looks a little uh, yeah, life lost, so it could use some uh, sticks on it. This was actually very crucial to the near side. We would have a lot of people taking the right side of the field off break. Uh, this is a heavily abused one. Uh, we're yeah, about this to. Is what we did a shooting video. This yeah, one. we did a shooting video on this pretty much, right. and uh, this this is a good, this is a good bunker. You got a real if you hang it on this side. You got shots blocked from here. You got a good look at the flag. Either way. Right. This isn't the best looking bunker in the world. Uh, it needs some revamping as well. You can see there's a lot of holes in here. I mean, this wouldn't be the easiest bunker in the world to play, but uh, it's not the not the worst. Definitely not the worst on this field. But it needs some. Uh, Retooling and it'll be back to normal. Probably gonna work on that more later. Wow, I, it says I have a low battery already. We're going on 12 minutes, Joe. So a long bunker right here. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't get used a whole lot, but when it does, it's uh yeah, it's it's not not one of our uh, yeah. main focus bunkers. By the way, that is our death octagon. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it's uh pretty much where the flag is and there's a the bunker bunkers. It's so a lot of angles on it. So going for the death is uh, I mean the flag rather is pretty much a death mission. So while it's working on, we just started this. Recently, yeah. today. This, this today we got a nice bunk up your barrel right through here and shoot someone out, maybe across the field, looking this way. Like if you made it off break, if you were one of those really fast people and you want to make it like to halfway through here and your head would kind of be protected by this. Mm -hmm. And if you look cool. on the other side of the bunker, it's got just in case you had someone coming around here, you were kind of protected by this uh, small sheet of uh, sheeting right there. Okay. This is a uh, no, actually right here. What do we got here? I'll take that. Thank you very much. So this, <laughs> Let's wrap it up pretty quick. This is an okay bunker. Um, not used a whole lot. Uh, it was used by Iowan, actually, uh, last time we played. 
and I actually went around through this through these ferns right here and he was sitting right out here in the open and it was an easy out so that was fun but this side of the field is mostly not used a whole lot I mean if you see see this down piece right here you could easily hide in there if you wanted to the side of this with a piece of old uh, steel steel um, looks like a uh, one of those uh, wood roofs what is it called corrugated roof is that what it's called I have no idea. Alright, anyway, that's just a piece of steel right here from the roof. And we got kind of got our uh, fence piece in here. This this could still use some fixing up because uh, it's kind of hard to play a bunker low down. But anyway, this deck is not so good. Coming back to the, uh, the finish where we started. Back at the far side of the field. The far side. And no one really plays any bunkers any farther than this. Very rarely does this bunker get played. Yeah, it's like a pit. Playing that off break. Mm -hmm. This long snake leg. Um, every once in a while. And even if you look right here at this large tree, even if you did start back right here, you have a really, really good look at the flag from here. So, anyone who's playing here. Would yep, I believe Nicky Main used this. Uh... Yeah, when he was using the piranha, as he <laughs> says. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so that should be a wrap. So uh, signing off from...